Welcome back to another video guys. Today we have something very special in store for you. My BMW E46 drift car needs a tire sprayer. Now a key to making all of our tires last as long as they do is to keep them cool. You get them too hot, they kind of just delaminate and fall apart. We have a solution. We ended up picking up these big eight gallon water tanks from Northern Tools. And essentially what we're gonna do is house water in there and then plumb it to both rear tires to cool them off. A little easier said than done. We do need to go ahead and get some plumbing. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description of all the tools and stuff I'm using. This is a mister kit that's supposed to be like on the outside of a patio to like spray mist around a patio or something. And then I have a cheap little Amazon wiring harness. Again, I'll leave links in the description of everything I use. We're gonna have to start in the trunk of this E46. Now, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the tank, somewhere along this area. And kind of my rough thought is, mount the tank, and then we're gonna tee off that mister line. So one to each wheel well, somewhere around these areas. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our wiring harness, conveniently, to our little battery here in the back. So wiring harness, plumbing it, and then mounting the tank. And theoretically, that's all we need. So here's a good example of what happens whenever you do not cool your tires down enough. See, part of the tread is still there. However, this part is delaminated. Meaning it just got too hot and fell apart. And this is what it looks like when a tire does not delaminate and when you cool them down, nice, evenly, and smooth wear. What I decided to do is actually cut off this little nub because the tank actually sits perfectly between these two widths. However, this was in the way. So angle grinder took care of that really quick. However, now we have a hole in the chassis. What I'm gonna do with that is gonna go ahead and get a piece of either ABS plastic or something, cut out a little square and rivet it into the chassis, maybe seal it up just to keep water out and kind of keep the noise down. I went ahead and put a little silicone on this just to kind of seal it up a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of spread it around with my finger, just a hair, and it'll dry clear, and hopefully it'll give us a little bit better watertight seal over top of that hole. I just got the little plate put in, the silicone is on the back of it, and then I used four little rivets, and it actually came out really nice. And the whole idea is, is to be able to take the tank and it just sit perfectly within that spare tire well. And it actually sits lovely. Next step, we're gonna figure out a mounting method for this. And then we're gonna also work on the plumbing as well. So we're first gonna tackle the plumbing with this system. Here's a little mister kit I bought off Amazon. This is $25, it came with this all this hose and all these little different attachments. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Well guys, I'm doing a little giveaway. I have two of these little Atom Polishes sampler kits. I'm gonna be giving these away to two random comments. So make sure to get your comment in down below. I'll be randomly picking two comments. I'll ship these out anywhere in the world. Let me show you what's in them real quick. It's just a little thank you guys for all your support here on the channel. This is not sponsored by Adams. I just picked these up a while back. It comes with a little sample of waterless wash, interior glass cleaner, detail spray, and tire shine couple microfibers and a tire applicator. A nice little fun little package, all nice and neat. So I do have two of these kits, guys. Make sure to drop a comment. I'll be picking two random comments here in about a week or so from the date that this video drops. Just as a little thank you for all your support here on the channel. So starting in the back, we peeled up all of our little carpets here. And then we went ahead and kind of located where we want the Mr. Host plumb and then route through to the wheel well. And you can't quite see it, but it's back in the very back behind this wire loom. We went underneath and was able to drill a test hole right here, which essentially, which will put the mister right in the center of the tire when the tire's on. So now I'm gonna step that drill bit up just a little bit so we can get it the same diameter of our hose. That way we can stick the hose through just a little bit and then put our mister tip on the hose, one on each side, and then we're gonna actually tee those two into the one main hose coming from the pump. Well, we just got all the plumbing wrapped up. Let me show you how it came out. Underneath, got my little headlamp on. As you can see, she's nice and uh, P-clamped up here. So we got a self-tapper on the P-clamp. And then I have my little Mr. Nozzle. That's what that green 
little fitting is right there. Into the car, I tucked it super, super nicely. It's dark out now, but I tucked it behind this carpet. And you can see, you can see it along here. And then we zip tied it along this wire loom behind it and then tucked it up underneath this uh, trim fitting. Here's the T fitting along here, which uh, adapts into the clear hose. I had to go buy another fitting for that to adapt it. And then the same thing on the other side. This side does sit up a little bit uh, further up, but it's okay. Still looks good and kind of shoots at the middle of the tire. So now we'll test it. I went ahead and just have it kind of wired up how it's supposed to and it should turn on and flow quite a bit of water out both sides. With the plumbing officially done, it's time to move on to the wiring. For this car, like I said earlier, I have an Amazon wiring kit. They're super easy. They're about 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna pick one up. It's already nicely loomed and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead, wire this up to a switch so that way I can have it in the cockpit. Whenever I want to cool down the tires, I just flip the switch and the pump turns on. So if you've never done wiring before, these little harnesses are super, super nice to have. I'll go ahead and start at the relay. The, re the relay is right here. And then you go to your fuse, which goes to your battery, positive and negative, which is fused, which is already nice, which is nice. And then this other cable, this is just a disconnection switch. This is your switch for on and off, and this will turn on and off the pump. And then you've got one more coming up here. And this is what goes to your accessory, or in our case, our pump for our tank. So the wire you just saw me splice was the pump wire. I went in and cut it and then crimped on those little spade connectors so that way I could plug it into the uh, Amazon wiring harness. So now I can actually unplug the pump if I ever need to, which is how this came already from Northern Tools. I can take the pump out without having to remove the wiring harness. I'm gonna mount that to the battery. I'm gonna, fit, I'm gonna fish this all the way up to the car as far as I can and maybe have to mount it somewhere along these areas and then kind of tuck everything nice and neat. At that point, everything should be wired and plumbed and then we just gotta mount the tank. So we got all the little eyelets mounted. Got four of them here on each side. One, two, three, four. All right, we went ahead and finished up the entire system. I'm gonna run through it really quickly for you. So we got the eyelets attached, as you saw. Went ahead and did the little Harbor Freight ratchet straps. I didn't tighten them down super tight because they're just self tappers. You don't wanna over tighten them. So she's hard mounted. She's plumbed, which we've already talked about. And then the wiring harness, um, I went ahead and have my little connector here. Ran to the relay as we just covered. Battery, one, ground here. And then the switch is just, just kind of ran up here along my hydro lines. I might tuck that a little bit better. However, I was running out of space, so I was able to run it through the crack of the seat. And then I did a cheeky little install right here. Oh yeah, that's real nice. So this piece will actually pop up. I drilled a little hole, mounted the switch, on, off. Yeah. So we went ahead and put the stock little carpet and mat back in. It fits really well, however, it's a little bit raised up because of those straps are in the way. So it's a little teeter-tottery, but overall, if you kind of step back and look at it, you can't even tell there's eight gallons of water sitting underneath. So I wanted to show you guys the tire sprayer in action in the daylight. So we're gonna go up here, flip a little switch. Pump is running. And then here's the other side, especially as you drive, it'll kind of roll over itself to kind of help. So I took the mister fittings out. It was too fine and it was actually backing up my pump. However, I might see if I can find a less fine of a mister tip to put in my little nozzles. That way we can kind of get a real nice even coverage. As of right now, it's kind of just getting the back side of the tire because it's a solid stream. So maybe I can do some sort of nozzling that'll uh, kind of evenly disperse it across the way. Overall, pretty happy with it, especially if you're kind of just rolling nice and slow, kind of cool off the tires. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for this install. We're gonna go test out really quickly, but make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if this helped you out. Stay tuned for more E46 content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next video.
That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. 